We're a humanitarian relief organization. Whether that's responding to disasters when people are at their worst situation following a hurricane or an earthquake, or it could be the ongoing disasters that happen that never hit, never hit the media, things like uh, world poverty and, and the plight of women in places like Kenya and Tanzania. On our domestic side, we do three big things. Number one is we do disaster response. And I mean, we're trying to be there first with a lot of response to, in terms of food, in terms of hygiene supplies, things of that nature. But we secondly are involved in what we call community events, outreaches to the working poor. So this again, will provide relief and supplies and groceries and things just to help people kind of make ends meet. Third thing we do is we work throughout rural America. Again, providing expertise, but also providing groceries and clothing and things like that to people who might otherwise have to go without. There's plenty of food in the world, there's plenty of product that people need in the world, but it's not always where it needs to be. And so Convoy at its core is really logistics. How do we move product from places where there's excess to places where it's needed? And working with two men in a truck, whether you're mobilizing people or finances or your trucks to get that product to where it's needed, be it a disaster or be it ongoing poverty, then that's how a partnership like Two Men in a Truck and Convoy can really work. I think we have a shared culture. You know, people are really important to us. Being efficient, being effective, being fast, being good, excellence, that kind of thing. So in a disaster context, that culture that says, we're gonna get there, we're gonna help, we're gonna make, you know, really make lives better. That's where I sense we can really help each other because we share that common culture. In terms of disaster response, is our cause is we wanna help people. We wanna help people as quickly as we can. And so having more resources, both financial resources, but even potentially volunteer resources, just allow allows us to help people and to do that together makes us stronger. The franchisee community, uh, when things happen, they want to get involved. They want to be a part, they want to do whatever they can, but it's important to know how they can help. When uh, Hurricane Irma and Harvey were hitting uh, Houston and South Florida, uh, us together as a, as a group in, in Pensacola uh, knew the devastation that was received from Ivan and a lot of the community got together and knew there was a need to, to, to help out the areas of Houston and South Florida. We partnered with local churches and we found an organization of where to go. And it was a great fit for us. You, you know, you look at Convoy of Hope and uh, in the, in the values that they carry along with our core values here at Two Men and Truck, they come together and, and they interlink so well. It, it was just a natural fit for us. So when Eric Neubauer from Convoy of Hope and I got together and we actually got a strategic plan together to figure out, hey, this is what we have, this is what we can do. Uh, it, it seemed to be just a phenomenal fit. I didn't realize the magnitude of what Convoy of Hope does and all that's involved in what they offer during disasters and, and they bring hope. We know we have the trucks, we know we have the manpower and that's what they need. They need supplies. How can we get them to them and keep it going? Uh, no matter if it's a, a forest fire in California where our franchises can help out there or if it's in the southeast where we, we're going to have franchises affected down there, they're going to need supplies for weeks. How can we bring them in logistically from a company and still can help them out? When you give people the chance to be generous and, and even if it's just a small amount out, out of their paycheck, we all want to be able to do that. And so if two men in a truck can provide that opportunity for your, your employees and your, your team members, that's just a really awesome thing to be able to do. Any other times that we've had opportunities for our guys to get involved in something where they can help, because uh, they maybe have even been in the same position. So I think, uh, I think they'll be excited. To give back to that community, you know, it, it's, going, it, it's going to pay back. When, how, who knows, who cares? <laughs>